Greetings, this is Carmen from FuturePrint in Regina, Saskatchewan. We are full service printers with a long history of customer service excellence. Enjoy our latest video in our Carmen's Corner video series on everything printing. Today we're going to be talking about black and white copies. Some might say, who still uses those? Actually, that's used a lot more than we might think. Training manuals, directories, safety manuals, internal communications are black and white copies, and forums. I just have some examples here on the desk. If you look at your invoice, most commonly is black and white. Purchase order forms, those sort of things are black and white. Here's a uh, directory ma type manual. There's all black and white copies on the inside, nice color cover, but the insides are black and white. If you think of the most books that you pick up at a library or reference books, the cover might be nice color, but the insides are black and white. So black and white is used a lot more than we think. If you would think of a one-time use as another example, where you have a ballot for entry draw, it's just eight and a half, 11, or a little, little tab, and it's black and white because it's a one-time use. Black and white copies are still used up to four times more than color copies, mostly because of the price difference. Color is still very expensive, and the prices aren't coming down or close to color in the near future. It's not gonna be happening. We can go up to 11 by 17 in black and white copies, so that's two 8 and 11 side by side. You can go color papers, uh, black ink or black copies on color paper still is very good. Not used nearly as much as it used to be, but that's still a good combination for a flyer or something like that. Our Xerox machine we're featuring today is, we've had it for several years now, but this one is 110 copies per minute. 110 a minute. It automatically staples, it automatically puts three holes in it. It's a great little copier. Uh, 110 a minute, so it doesn't take us too long to do a whole manual. It has a document feeder, you drop the documents in and feed it, or we can feed it off the glass. Where it has changed in the copier world, documents move differently than they used to. You could say, you'll mail me a copy. We don't do that anymore. We email and very often use a PDF directly from computers to the copier, as opposed to being off the glass. My little tip for today is save your files as a PDF before sending it to us or to anyone else. Save it as a PDF. Microsoft Word can reflow. That means you might have something that you see on the screen and the paragraph ends here, but when you actually do it, the paragraph starts over on the other page and it reflows or maybe a page will disappear. All kinds of different problems happen. So just save it as a PDF and save all those hassles. Thanks, see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or any of our videos, contact us today. Or if you'd like to discuss your printing needs, we'd love to hear from you. Find our details online at futureprint.ca.